It was a very clear and quiet night. There was not a cloud in the sky. Everything seemed so calm, but not in Mia's head. Mia lay in her bed, her mind racing with an incessant barrage of thoughts. Each thought intertwined with another, forming a tangled web of worries, doubts, and anxieties. For as long as she could remember, Mia had suffered from this endless stream of thoughts. It felt as if her mind was a busy highway, with thoughts racing past refusing to slow down or give her a moment's respite. Nights were especially difficult for her, as the quietness only seemed to amplify the chaos within her mind. During the day, she strived to keep her thoughts at bay, distracting herself with work, social engagements, and anything that could temporarily occupy her mind. But as soon as the night fell, her mind would unleash its torrent once more. Sleep became elusive for Mia leaving her exhausted and drained both physically and mentally. The next morning, Mia sat on her porch, her gaze fixated on the neighboring house. It belonged to the old sage, who had always been sought after for his wise advice. As Mia endured yet another sleepless night, she felt a sudden urge to share her suffering with him. Hesitant but determined, she approached his house and knocked. In response, she heard the old man's voice saying, Come in. Mia entered the house, cautiously stepping into a room. The old sage sat on a cushioned mat, his wrinkled hands resting on his lap. With a gracious smile, the master welcomed Mia inside, inviting her to pour out the contents of her restless mind. Mia opened up about the overwhelming battle she had been facing within her own mind. She expressed her frustration, saying, It feels like my thoughts have taken control of me. They bombard me constantly, especially at night when everything is quiet. I try to stop them, but they just keep coming, filling my mind with worries and anxieties. The old sage let out a sigh, his eyes searching Mia's face. Mia, you must grasp one fundamental truth. The more you strive to stop the mind, the more thoughts will emerge. Your efforts to still the mind only strengthen its presence. They are products of the very mind you seek to calm. Filled with curiosity, Mia questioned the sage, seeking to understand the reason behind his insight. He expounded, When you attempt to silence your thoughts, you are employing the very tool you wish to overpower. It is futile. Every effort to manipulate the mind originates from the mind itself. One thought tries to dominate another, perpetuating the cycle. Mia stood frozen, a burst of realization permeating her being. Confronted with her ignorance, she inquired, desperate for enlightenment. If trying to stop my thoughts is futile, then what should I do? He said, to let muddy water become clear, one must refrain from interfering. The concept fascinated her, but she couldn't help but express her doubts. But how can I simply detach from my thoughts and not engage with them? Maya asked, her gaze searching for understanding. All these thoughts feel so personal and deeply intertwined with who I am. The sage smiled gently acknowledging Mia's struggle. Indeed, it is challenging for many, he replied. The reason for this difficulty lies in the identification with the mind. People often mistakenly believe that they are their thoughts, completely absorbed in their stream. But in truth, the mind is merely a tool, an instrument at our disposal. It is not who you are. Mia tried to digest this revelation, and as she did, she began to realize the implications. So, she pondered, when I find myself unable to rest from my thoughts even during the night, it is because I have let the mind take control over me. Exactly, the sage affirmed with a nod. The mind has claimed its dominance over you, leaving you at its mercy rather than the other way around. But don't make an enemy out of your mind continued the old man, his calm voice resonating through the air. 
I will teach you a simple meditation that consists of three parts and lasts 21 minutes. Please find a comfortable position and close your eyes, he instructed, a kindly warmth in his words. Mia complied, settling into a comfortable posture and attentively focusing on the sage's words. The first part of the meditation, the old man began, is to observe your breath for seven minutes. Realize that your breathing is simply happening and there is no one else responsible for it. It occurs naturally, effortlessly. Watch the breath, be aware of it, he explained, his voice encouraging Mia to embark on this inner journey. As Mia and the old man closed their eyes together, a peaceful silence enveloped them. They attuned their senses to the rhythm of their breath, as each inhalation and exhalation guided them deeper into the present moment. The second part of the meditation, explained the old man, involves the observation of thoughts. Tell yourself inwardly to let thoughts come and go freely while you take on the role of a detached observer. Relax into this state of awareness as you watch the thoughts pass through your mind like drifting clouds in the sky. Avoid grasping onto them or getting entangled in their stories. If you find yourself getting caught up in thought, simply remind yourself gently to let them come and go, allowing yourself to continue observing from a place of detachment. After the second part of the meditation concluded, the old man introduced the final phase, a profound exploration of the self. Now, he murmured, his voice carrying a hint of mystery. We embark on the third and most transformative part of this practice. It is a journey of self-enquiry, aimed at dispelling ignorance and discovering the truth of your existence. Encourage a stillness within and ask yourself, if you are not your thoughts, then who are you? Who is the witness to these thoughts? Who is the conscious awareness behind them? Dive into this inquiry, but remember not to search for answers within your mind. Instead, confront reality and face your true essence. As the meditation drew to a close, Maya was filled with a newfound peace and clarity. The journey through the three parts had awakened something within her, an understanding that she was more than the fluctuations of her mind and the fleeting thoughts that had once consumed her. She had the power to observe, detach, and ultimately discover her true nature, beyond the confines of thoughts and beliefs. With a sense of serenity and self-awareness, Mia continued to incorporate these teachings into her daily life. She found herself more mindful of the thoughts that arose within her, constantly reminding herself of the importance of observation and detachment. This newfound perspective allowed her to navigate life's challenges and setbacks with a calm resilience, as she no longer identified herself solely with her thoughts. Mia absorbed the profound and thought-provoking question posed by the old man. Who was she beyond the fleeting thoughts that passed through her mind? She diverted her attention away from the mental chatter and redirected it inward to explore the depths of her being. In this quest for self-realization, she delved beyond the surface, unearthing a sense of presence that existed beyond the grasp of thoughts. With each passing moment, Maya relinquished her attachment to conceptual identity and dwelled within the spaciousness of pure awareness. She discovered an intimate connection to a core essence that permeated her entire being. The answers she sought were not found within the searchings of her mind, but in the depths of her soul. Ultimately, Mia's journey of meditation and self-enquiry led her to a profound inner transformation. With a lighter heart and an expanded perspective, she stepped into the world as an embodiment of peace and wisdom. She gratefully carried the teachings of the old man in her heart, forever grateful for the profound impact they had on her life.